Let's discuss getting started with assemblies and onshape. Assemblies and onshape are where you insert all of the parts and subassemblies needed to create a complete product. It's also used to test out any motion and ensure your design is behaving correctly. So let's start with the basic information you need to get started with your assembly. By default, when you create a document, two tabs are created. At the bottom of the document, you'll find a Part Studio and Assembly tab. If you click on the Assembly tab, you'll see the Assembly toolbar at the top with commands like Insert, all the various mates, and everything else you need to create your assembly. You can have as many assemblies in your document as you would like. To insert a new assembly into the document, simply click the plus icon in the bottom left corner, and you'll see the option to Create Assembly. The first step to building your assembly is inserting the first part or parts. To do this, click the Insert command in the toolbar, and the Insert Parts and Assemblies dialog will appear. Let's discuss a few of the important details of this dialog. Starting at the top, you can choose to insert parts or assemblies from the current document, or from another document. Below that, you also have the option to choose from the Part Studio or Assembly to insert, and you can use the search function to find the Part Studio or Assembly that you want to insert. You can also insert sketches or surfaces from the Part Studio by clicking the Sketches icon in the dialog. To insert a part or assembly, simply left click what you want to insert from the list and you'll see it appear in the graphics. One important tip if you've designed multiple parts together in the same Part Studio, you can insert them all at once by simply left clicking the Part Studio from the list. You can also choose to insert any part within that Part Studio by expanding it and selecting a specific part to insert. Another important tip when you're getting started, generally you want the first part you insert to be centered on the assembly origin, so be careful about left clicking in the graphics space for that first part. We recommend simply left clicking the green check in the insert parts and assemblies dialog. This will automatically place the part in the same orientation and position with respect to the origin that it was originally modeled in. It's important to point out, this does not fix the part. If you want, you can fix the part by right clicking it and choosing Fix. Remember, these tips are only necessary for the first part. When inserting subsequent parts, you can simply left click to place them arbitrarily in the graphics, as we will later define their position with mates. So we've inserted a few parts into our assembly, and you're ready to start moving parts around and positioning them. One of the easiest ways to move a part is to simply free drag by left click dragging that part in the graphics. Notice in our example, the first part I inserted is fixed, so it cannot be dragged. But all the other parts are free to move in any direction. If you want to control the movement a little bit more accurately, left click a part and use the triad manipulator to move. The triad manipulator appears when left clicking any part that has the freedom to move. You can left click drag one of the arrows to move along a default axis. Left click drag an in circle to rotate about an axis. And you can even grab the center circle and drag to attach the triad manipulator to various important points in the design. So that's the basics of starting your assembly. Next up, we'll talk about positioning parts, mates, and more.